what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Keep these animals off the streets who are running around Miami-Dade County acting like they've escaped from a zoo. Lock them up at 5 p.m. so the streets can be nice and clean. No, those are not words coming from Donald Trump, your president. These are words that came out of the mouth of Trina. Now, fam, I ain't never really followed Trina on any type of political stuff. Like, I didn't even know she had opinions about stuff like that. This is the first time I've ever heard her say anything about social injustice. I'm not saying she hasn't, but this is the first time I've heard her say anything. And this, what she said, couldn't be any more embarrassing to her family, to her people. She sounds like a white supremacist. You see, fam, that's why I say white supremacy ain't got nothing to do with ethnicity. It's the mentality. See, she heard that type of language from somewhere and she held on to it. She said that she's, I mean, she was passionate. Trick Daddy tried to save her. She was having a conversation with Trick Daddy. And Trick Daddy tried to save her. Trick said, man, it's always about you. You know, what does the people on the streets have to, have to do with what you're talking about? These people got to go to work. They got lives. She want everybody to suffer for the transgressions of a few. And let me tell you something. Even if those people who are vandalizing, looting is wrong, you don't address them that way. Because see, once you start addressing people that way, it gives the police a pass to ride on them, disrespect them, brutalize them, murder them in the streets. Because after all, they're just animals, right? And they've escaped from a zoo, according to Trina. Well, she'll say, well, I didn't say they escaped from a zoo. I said they're running around uh, acting like they've escaped from a zoo. This is a bad look for Trina, real bad. It's so many black people who regurgitate white supremacist talking points. It's like, and Trina is, what, 40-something years old at least? She should know better. She should know that those words have consequences. Look, I have emotions also, but I'm not emotional. I see so many black people who are emotional. They don't know how to reel it in. I know how to compartmentalize it. I know there's certain things that even if I feel it, it's not a good idea to say it because what it does is open up an avenue for those who don't even like me or my kind to attack me and my kind. So while I think I'm just venting and I'm just saying what I feel, the enemy is using my words against me to attack my people. There are people that are listening to what she's saying who don't like her at all, don't like nothing about her or her friend who's shocked that she was trying to defend. She was saying that her friend has a shop there in Miami and they're, you know, I guess she said vandalizing, you know, her stuff or her, her place is at risk. They don't understand that when they say derogatory things 
about black people, the people that hate us, they use that as an excuse to justify bad behavior toward us. It's like the black dude or the black woman who got a problem with the opposite sex black person, the opposite gender. They get emotional. Oh man, black women ain't this. Oh man, black men ain't who. Now, the black man got sisters, aunts, cousins, other women in his life who are black that he claimed to love, daughters, who, when he make those derogatory comments about black women, those disparaging comments about black women, it makes it harder on them to live, to go out there because their image has taken a hit already and he's reinforcing it. On the flip side of that coin, when black women get emotional and spew hatred of black men, disparaging comments about black men publicly. Now we can say what we want privately, but publicly to make disparaging comments about black men, what you do is you reinforce the neg negative stereotypes and you give people reasons, including the police, to bring harm to your brother, your father, your cousins, your sons. Now, maybe your son ain't a teenager yet. Maybe you got your son is an infant. Maybe your son is four, five. So you ain't really worried about him getting shot down in the streets. But he got to grow into it. And guess what? You made it harder for him to exist. Think about that. Trina, you out of pocket. You all the way out of pocket. I don't think that any of us should ever get to the point where we think that we're so big, we got so much money that we could disrespect our whole culture, that we can disrespect our people. We make it harder on ourselves when we make these disparaging comments and generalize black people. I can see, okay, saying one person did this, get them, get them, get them, whatever, two people, whatever. But to put, basically put a hit job on a whole group of people that look like you, that's dummy shit. Trick tried to save Trina several times, but she didn't want any parts of it. She was adamant about her erroneous position. The irony here is Trick and Trina grew up in the same neighborhood in Miami, Liberty City. But somewhere along the line, Trina lost her way and became tone deaf. You can say whatever you want to say about Trick Daddy but he's grounded. He hasn't forgotten his people. I'm telling you, mark my words. Those words that came out of her mouth, she will regret them for the rest of her days. Those are the type of words that you say that they don't go away, ever. Nobody's ever going to forget that, and she will never live those words down. She can apologize all she wants, and I suspect she will at some point. But she's going to regret those words for the rest of her days. I've seen many people with big money fall and fall hard. You know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I've seen people with marginal success think that they've made it and start showing their naked ass. Zach and the fool. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Operative word is fall. Family.
Pride is a good thing. Pride makes you hustle. Pride uh, makes you carry yourself with dignity and a level of respect that's honorable. But pride should be kept in check because pride comes before the fall. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?